In this video, we're gonna be looking at how you can create custom settings for your Shuttle Pro version two or your Shuttle Express on a Mac. The great thing about the Shuttle is that because of the way that it works, you can use one with any program that uses keyboard shortcuts. Each button on the Shuttle can be mapped to a specific key press or key combination. For programs like Adobe Premiere with the ability to use custom key mapping, the possibilities are endless. Let's jump onto the Mac and get started. The first step is to open the Shuttle driver. For this example, we're going to be creating new settings for Audacity. Click the little plus button in the bottom left hand corner. You should now see this window and from here you'll need to navigate to the Applications folder and select the app you want to use. Now click Open. If you already have a settings file for the program you're using, then the new file will be named the same, but with a two after it and be under the user heading. Once you're back in the shuttle driver, you can program the buttons by selecting the desired button in the shuttle driver or by simply clicking the desired button on your shuttle product. You'll see the button light up green in the on-screen graphic. Using the drop down menu, you can select what action is taken when the button is pressed. You'll see alternative ways to program the shuttle, but in this guide, we're gonna be using type keystroke. Now that we've selected the button we'd like to map, I'm gonna enter command and S into the keystroke box. You can also add a comment in the box to the right of the button selection to help you remember what that button does. In this instance, it's gonna save our project. Now let's move on to the shuttle ring. It's ideal for functions such as zoom, volume up and down, scroll, but for this example, we're going to use it to rewind and go forward in Audacity. Using the drop down menu, select use shuttle zones. The shuttle ring has 15 programmable functions, seven sections left, seven sections right, and one neutral position. Turning the shuttle ring to the right will activate each shuttle zone. Shuttle Zone 1, Shuttle Zone 2, Shuttle Zone 3, all the way up to 7. And turning the Shuttle Ring to the left will do the same, but with the negative zones. Shuttle Zone minus 1, Shuttle Zone minus 2, Shuttle Zone minus 3, all the way up to Shuttle Zone minus 7. Which is when the ring is turned all the way to the left. We're going to program this ring to rewind and fast forward faster, depending on how far we turn the ring. So first of all, select Shuttle Zone 1 and assign the right arrow to be the keystroke. Set the frequency to five times per second. This means that the shuttle will send the right arrow signal five times per second for as long as you hold the ring in that position. We're gonna repeat this process with all seven positions, slowly increasing the frequency each time. Do the same for the left-hand zones and you should now be able to scrub through your timeline quickly and efficiently using the shuttle ring. Onto the jog dial. This is the metal wheel inside of the shuttle ring. For this example, we're going to be programming this wheel to zoom in and out of our Audacity project. So let's open up Audacity. As with many programs, if you hover over the action you would like the shuttle to perform, you can usually find out what the keyboard shortcut is for it. In this case, the shortcut we need to zoom in is Command and the number 1 button. And to zoom out, it's Command and the number 3 button. Let's head back to the shuttle configuration tool and from the drop down menu, select keystroke. Under the keystroke section, we're going to be typing command plus the one button so that when we turn the jog wheel to the right within Audacity, it should zoom in. Then let's select jog left and type command plus the three button under the keystroke. Now you can see I can zoom in and out with ease using the jog dial. Remember, these are only examples and your preferred application will have your own key commands you'll need to program. This is just the tip of the iceberg when it comes to customizing your Shuttle Pro or Shuttle Express. The sky really is the limit. For more help with the Shuttle Pro, please visit the Contour Design website.